friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with a really quick Walmart haul. So I had asked y'all if y'all wanted to see what I had gotten for my granddaughter and I kind of got a really a whole bunch of quick answers. So um, I just wanted to share what I found. Um, I don't even know how, how I ended up on this aisle. I was Oh, I was looking for a ribbon for my um, my daughter-in-law for her birthday gift to wrap everything up and tie it in a bow. Also, do you guys want me to show you how I'm putting together her birthday gift? Um, how I'm going to decorate it and put it in a basket and all of that. If you guys are interested in that, let me know below. Okay. So, first off, I went down this aisle and I found these darling little um, kits and... I have made all of these kinds of quilted. I've done, um, you know, like mosaic type quilts. I've done, you know, scene quilts. I've, I've done a lot of quilting in my day. And I saw this and I thought, oh, I love that. And I didn't even realize that this was pre-sewn. I thought at first I would just be sewing it together. So it comes with the front. It is pre-patched and pre-sewn. It also has a lot of like minky material in between. And then it also comes with a backing. And so I just love it. It has little lambs. It has little llamas. It has little bears. It has, I mean, llamas aren't wildlife, but, um, you know, woodland animals. But every now and then, Mimi's got to stick in a little, uh, little llama in there. So anyways, I thought this was darling. I'm not sure if I'm going to sew this and give to her for her house or if I'm going to sew it and keep it here for when she and all of her siblings and cousins come. So... And there's no more in the in the works. This is I'm just be thinking ahead. I am gonna sew her that darling little bear, and I think I'm gonna give her this for Valentine's. It is soft. It is super super plush, and you just literally it shows you here. It gives you the front and the back. You sew it. It tells you where to leave open when you you know stitch it together, and um, and then you just buy the stuffing and stuff it. My mother used to make these for my sister like crazy, and I just thought this is so soft, and so I wanted to make her a little lovey bear for Valentine's this year. And then, <laughs> what really first caught my eye in all of this was this book. I would love to sew this book and have this at my house. First, I thought I was going to sew it and give to her. And then I thought, no, it just depends on if I keep the quilt or if I give it. They have so much at their house. And I know that what we're going to have at this house is going to be not just our current granddaughter, but Lord willing, we're going to have many other grandchildren. So I wanted to make something that was handmade that um, even though it's pre-printed, at least I can sew it and make it for my grandchildren. And they can keep it, or we can keep it here and they can come and enjoy it. So anyway, so this is just a little book and it's super charming. They even tell you the story on the back. So you're able to read and yes... There's a llama. There's not a hedgehog in here, but there's a llama. So anyways, you guys know how I feel about that. But anyways, <laughs> all right. Um, I also picked up, and this I may sew for her. This is a little squirrel and a little acorn. And this I may sew and give to her for Christmas. But I just thought this was so sweet. It is so soft. It's like the bear. It comes in pieces. You just cut them out back them together, sew them up, you know, turn them inside out, and then, you know, stitch it up. And I just think these are so stinking cute. And she's so little that this, you know, depending on how big they are, I don't know what, let's see, the finished, it says the squirrel is 13 by 13, 13 and a half by 13 and a half. That's a pretty big little friend. And then the acorn is six and a half by nine and a half. So I just thought it was just really sweet. And you know I'm going to cut that little squirrel out. You know it's going to be in one of the books I'll have. <laughs> I also picked up some of the fat quarters. So here are the owls. And it's just really soft flannel. Um, I picked up some of the fat quarters for this as well. Let me show you some of these now. I picked up that for some backing. Um, this one is darling. And I think I already have that open already. So I'll wait. Then here's a floral. It's all by the same line. The exact same group. It's a... Uh, Let's see, Little Feet Boutique, very, very affordable and very nice. So, okay, hold on. I've got some others over here. So just one second, let me see here. Oh, I'm really finagling this, going back and forth, hold on. <laughs> Between the two. All right, so here is this one with the nighttime. I thought that was so sweet. 
And then here's one with just the leaves. And let's see here, another of the floral. Um, I picked up this one that has the lambs that I love with the moon and the clouds and all of that. I thought that was darling. I picked up another one of those. I also picked up, oh, I picked up another one of those because, yes, I liked it. <laughs> and then I picked up this one is the little fox and the bear and a little teepee and a raccoon and just all the woodland animals and I loved this and I thought that is going to be so cute with that one this these two together and these are just fat quarters and then I thought this one would be so cute with this and this and so I thought I might make some kind of a, a if I don't keep this one and I give it to her then I will make one like that for here for the um, in our house we won't have a full-blown crib we'll have like a half-size playpen so it can fold up when they're gone and then when they come to visit we can fold it down and have it ready to go so um, and then lastly here is that one yes I busted it open because I knew I was gonna buy it so no matter what I knew I was gonna buy it so it also it also has a sloth so I love the bears and the goose and the bunny and the llama and there's a penguin, there's a pig, there's I mean all kinds of good things. So and these were just a dollar forty seven. They're just fat quarters, um, you know, and it has two different colored, you know, outfits for them. So I just thought this was precious and I just I don't know, I saw it and it just really struck a struck my heart. Now, how in the world did I find these? <laughs> Hold on, let me get this last few things out of this bag so I can quit rattling on you. Oh, goodness gracious, that's my vitamins in the bag. I saw these, and I was like, oh, that would be so cute in their album. Oh, that'd be so cute. <laughs> and that'd be so cute. And that'd be so cute. And then I realized, no, hold on. There's this whole thing here happening. And then I also saw this one last piece, and this is going to be made, and it will be kept here, and it is the flower and then the little owl, because you guys know I like birds. So um, I guess my daughter and son-in-law, they don't like owls as much as they like birds, but I love them all. So that'll be here, and it can be for boy or girl. You know, there's pink and blue, and the pink isn't like pink pink. It's kind of a dusty pink with some, like, I don't know, coral or something in there. So, I thought that was really neat. I also picked up all kinds of seam binding, and I picked up white satin for the large, and I picked up a spare just in case, and then I picked up silver for um, for what I'm going to do, or gray, that I'll be doing here, and I wanted it always to be satin so it would be nice and soft because it's flannel or it's minky. I also picked up two, uh, oh, they are... An odd size they're out of my car and I totally forgot about it, but they're this minky backing and one is like mint green it is literally whoops so I'm dropping everything it is literally the mint green that is in this it matches perfectly and then also I picked up gray and it is the gray that will match whoops sorry guys I didn't mean to bump you my apologies the gray in here and it matches perfectly so I'm so I may end up making more blankets more quilts we'll see we'll just see okay so that's all for my grandbaby I know that's all right <laughs> I also picked up some goodies like that that you know I love you know and uh, I'll be decorating I'll come back with a haul on all that but I think that's that's pretty good. It's I thought it was pretty. So I've got the buffalo and you've got the buffalo check and you've got the the um, snowflakes. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I know that my kitchen is going to have red and buffalo check and my bedroom is going to have, you know, the red and black buffalo check. So I'm not sure where I'm going to do. I may make some pillows for in there. And I also picked up some additional black and red buffalo check. It all goes together. It was all, you know, it all looks great. Even if this black isn't as dark as that black, I, I, it's totally fine by me. And then, because you can do one side one day and flip it over and do the other side the other day. I also picked up these, and I love these. These are just, just literally fat squares. And I use these in junk journaling. I also use these in 
oh, just things I'm going to make for my grandchildren, and I just love this. So it says faith, love, faith, hope, love, hope. You know, I mean, it's just so beautiful. It has the crosses, has the hearts, and somehow I'm going to incorporate that in some of this that I'll be making. I hope that's, I know, it's kind of confusing. You can't see what's going on in my brain, I know, because I tend to remake things. I mean, if I follow the directions on these, I will be a good girl, but I'm usually not that person. But I kind of feel like since it's for my granddaughter, I might want to follow the instructions. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I would say that everything was extremely reasonable. Um, I think these were like five something. Um, these were $1.47. I don't know the cost of these, but they probably were right around that same price. Um, the <clears throat> I think the book was like five something. I'm not sure. And then this, hold on, this down here, I had no clue. I think this was either 11 something or 14 something. I don't have my receipt and I'm so sorry. But you can also go online and see if you can find it. This, and then I bought the batting and the stuffing for everything. And you don't need to see that. You know what batting looks like. <clears throat> Pardon me. They suggested a cotton batting and that's exactly what I bought. I bought a very um, low, you know, low pile, low, you know, not very deep or thick um, batting. And I, and I love cotton batting anyways. I've always loved cotton batting better. I think it, it um, I just like the way it sets up on, you know, when you're doing quilts. But anyways, because I had contemplated I want to do a rag quilt for her. Because I have one that I use now that I did for my grandmother. I know. So anyways, and I had her name embroidered on it and all that kind of good stuff. So, but if I keep it here, nobody gets their name on it. But I know she'll get this. I know she'll get the little squirrel, things like that. So, all right, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment below, or email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. And um, share this video. If, if there's somebody saying, I don't know what I want to do in my, my child's room, this is so stinking cute. And you don't even have to do all of it. You could just do part of it. I mean, they make it so that it, it, it either works together or you could do it separately. So I think this is so charming. And with the fat squares, you really could do it exactly the way you want to do it. So I think that's always neat. So, All right, friends. <sighs> Again, like I always say, blessed, creative, and lovely. I pray that for each of you. And uh, I'm so thankful that y'all stopped by. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.